here to tell you about the WX3 in 1 APRS modem. We're using this at a number of sites for telemetry. It's a very good module, highly recommend it. The bundle's the one to get because you get the APRS modem plus you get the WX telemetry module and the WX bits module. The bits module gives you four inputs and four outputs. The WX telemetry module allows you to monitor two voltages and two current measurements. You don't have to use both, it just depends on what application, what it is you're doing. So I'll give you an example of how we're using this module. If I click on Mount Archer in Rockhampton, just click on the digi icon there and I'm going to open up a new window with show telemetry and I'll click on click on the telemetry here. So here is our building temperature or our enclosure temperature. So you can see early morning, it's pretty cool middle of the day it heats up and then cools back off at night. The WX telemetry module allows you to add a second temperature sensor and what we've done with this one is we've stuck that temperature sensor directly onto the transmit radio so we can monitor what the transmit radio is doing. It's useful in two ways. One, if we have a massive temperature spike, if it goes way above 40 degrees, then we know the fan has failed. There's a fan on the transmit radio that cools it down as it heats up. So if we see a massive spike, yes, we know we need to go to site and sort that out. The other useful feature it does is, is it actually shows you the utilization of your repeater. So where there's a spike in temperature, that's when people are using the repeater. So you can go back and have a look at how often the repeater is being utilized. So here's the data showing a week. And again, any spike is when the repeater is being utilized. If we scroll down here, we've got uh, a voltage measurement as well. Now this site's mains powered, so the voltage isn't particularly useful. It's still handy to have it there, but it's not gonna fluctuate a lot unless the power goes out. Uh, where it is more useful is at our solar site. So I'm gonna click on our Serena site. A nice smooth graph here because another great feature of the WX3 one is it allows you to set two different update rates for your telemetry data. You don't want to spam everyone with RF of all your temperature measurements. So what it allows you to do is set a higher update rate for pushing data directly to the internet and a different update rate for sending data to RF. So at this site, we have a 3G modem. We have a reasonably high update rate for the internet pushing of data. So it just gives us a nice graph without flooding the network with useless packets. So we actually have two independent battery systems up at this site. So here you can see where it's flatlining. The system is going into, into float. The solar system is going into float. So it's actually looking pretty good. We've had some nice sunny days. And this, this day today, it shows that there was a bit of cloud in the morning. It didn't quite go into float. Then later on the day, it's gone into float. When you look at our battery bank B, slight variation in voltages on the side, but you can adjust that. And again, where it flat lines, it's going into float. Now, if I look back at a week, and there's a week's worth of data. And if we just look at this one here, see that that's actually gone into boost mode. So it's generally going into float. We've had one day there, it goes into boost mode. It's probably once every 15 days. I think the Plasmatronics solar regulator is set. So quite useful. For showing what your solar system is doing and APRS.FI are managing the data. You just send it off to them and they will they will manage your data. It's all there. You can look back a week, a month, a year, whatever you need to. Another useful feature that we're doing with this WX module, WX3 in one, is using the outputs to control various radios. So what we've done is we've assigned two inputs two outputs, sorry, to our D-Star repeater and two outputs to our APRS radio. So on the D-Star side of things, if we set output one, then we can actually disable the D-Star repeater. It's a transmit inhibit. The, the other bit we use to actually change between two different channels on the repeater radio, on the transmit radio. So remotely we can go five watts or we can make it 25 watts just by setting that bit on or off. And in the transmit radio, it simply has two channel entries and we're changing between those two channel entries. Same goes for the APRS radio. In this case, we're using two bits for the APRS radio. 
binary code of decimal 0 and 1, and we're using that to control between three separate channels on the APRS radio. So that allows us to, same thing, have our APRS radio transmitting at 5 watts or having it transmit at 25 watts. The other thing that we can do is set the APRS radio to go to an alternate channel, 145075. We'll use that for special events. So we can do all this by controlling our radios by using the WX3 in 1 module. So there you go, very handy device, highly recommend it, and particularly good for monitoring your sites.